Go. Hi, Jordan here from Iron and Grit, and I have another grocery haul video for you. Winning the Whole Foods with the mindset that I was gonna lean up for November, and I still am, but it's probably not gonna be as hard and as drastic of a cut as I intended it to be initially for a few reasons, and uh, we'll get into that here in a second. So, all right, let's go through it. They actually had some pretty good deals there today. To start us off, we've got peppers, and these are some of the hardiest peppers I've ever felt. This is like heavier, this is like a two pound dumbbell right here. It's so dense. You know what, I bet this is one that has a pepper inside of a pepper. Like that is how heavy it is. But anyway, got some peppers there. Those are good for salads or just for a snack with hummus. Um, grass fed beef. So you get a pound of beef. This is 90% lean. And I think this was $4.50 a piece, which is really hard to come by. Like meat prices are raising um, pretty much across the board. So whenever I see a good deal on beef, I stock up on that. And I'm a man of my word. Here we go. This is pasture raised ground beef, 90% lean. This was what? This was $5.50 a pound. Also, same thing, same thing. So we got some good beef. We'll probably cook up some meatballs with this. We just made burgers last night too. So we've been smashing burger patties lately. Make some meatballs with this meat and then we'll probably freeze this and just have it on standby in case we need it for something. Oh, more meat. I think we bought all of their meat. Next, saw these little guys. Some, uh, some basic stuff here. Pumpkin spice, Siggy's um, yogurt. And as far as yogurt goes, I'm not huge in the dairy. I mean, it has calcium, it has protein, but I don't know, dairy, I feel like it makes me break out, get zits and stuff. But if you need a snack, Yogurt is the way to go. Get some flavor into your life. That being said, I did get some plain yogurt. And what I'm going to do is uh, before bed, this is gonna be my snack instead of eating cereal or something. But if I want something sweet and something that's gonna actually help me to grow muscle, because it has the protein, it has a nice casein protein in there, which is a slower release, which really helps with uh, recovery and muscle building while you sleep. So it's plain but it's full fat, full protein um, yogurt. And what I'm gonna do is take some chia seeds and put some chia seeds over it because those are really nutritious and have, they have iron in them and all kinds of good stuff. And some really healthy fats. And just, I've got a little bit of, uh, oh, look at that, raw honey that we're gonna drizzle on top of the yogurt here. And that's gonna be my bedtime snack. It's kind of cool, it has a honeycomb right in it. Anyway, which I heard you could chew on that, I guess. Okay, next we've got a skillet. This was B, B caught, this was B's idea, but uh, who doesn't love a chicken fajita skillet? We're gonna try that out, it's frozen, but just something quick. We haven't been cooking as much just because it takes so much time and we're trying to clamp down on some, uh, some life stuff, so. Time is of the essence. We've got extra virgin olive oil. You need that for your salads and cooking. I'm just about anything else you could think of. Some pleasant morning coffee. Little secrets, yeah, that was a little secret. You snuck that in there. Twix bar with dark chocolate, organic little snack. Okay, these I was pretty pumped about, I'm not gonna lie. What do these look like? I know you ate these when you were a kid. I haven't had a bagel bite and so freaking long, but these are the organic version. So I'm gonna tell myself they're better for me, even though they're not really, they're not healthy, but um, for the nostalgia value and the taste, this is gonna be one of my cheat meals this week. Couldn't resist. And then we've got some pizza varieties here. Okay, these require an explanation. This isn't like a Red Baron pizza, even though those, those are awesome, and DiGiorno's, those used to be awesome too, and I used to eat them like almost one a day back when I was you know, a teenager, early 20s. So this one here, Bonza, basically they make pasta and apparently um, pizza dough, dough with chickpeas as the base. They use chickpea flour and other types of, might be quinoa, tapioca, chickpeas, 
cocoa butter, olive oil, and then there's a few other things, salt, um, oregano, yeast, garlic powder, a little bit of sunflower, lecithin, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's pretty clean. It's a pretty clean ingredient list. We're going to try it out, see how it tastes. Um, it's got some fat content. It's got some sodium, carbs, obviously, but it has a lot of protein. So the whole pizza has 32 grams of protein, uh, 32 grams of fat, but for a pizza, it's not bad. And honestly, I don't know how it tastes yet. I'll let you know how it tastes if you want to know. And yeah, I just want to try it out because dieting is hard. Dieting sucks sometimes. And sometimes you need a little pizza in your life. So this could be one way to get that. Okay. Next, very similar to this pizza, except instead of chickpea flour, this uses cauliflower. And yeah, I mean, I've never used it. It's gluten-free, never tried it before. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It looks good. What's on this one? Looks like pepper, garden variety peppers. So we've got that in there. Another one, cheese. Cheese pizza. Decent protein on there. This one looks pretty good. Sriracha cha. Mexican pizza. 18 grams of protein in the whole thing. 24 grams of fat. I mean, it'd be a decent cheat meal. Lots of sodium. Almost 2,000 milligrams of sodium. But I mean, we'll sweat that out after we eat it the next day. Uh, calcium, a couple vitamins. Yeah, it's definitely a cheat meal, but I don't know. We'll see if it does the job as far as cravings are concerned. And uh, really quells the desire to want to eat pizza. Okay, next. Another bag. We got so this is for B. Cashew milk. It's actually not too bad. But it's something. Uh, maple syrup, real maple syrup. Don't buy the nonsense that's uh, just caramel colored. <sighs> I get frustrated even thinking about it that they pass it off as syrup, but the high fructose corn syrup that they just put like caramel color and caramel flavor in it, it's no bueno. You don't want that. You want the real stuff. So real maple syrup because it's actually kind of good for you. And if you're going to have it anyway, you're going to get all that sugar. You might as well get some of the nutrients. Um, and essential minerals from it as well. Chopped kale, that's going to go in with the meatballs. Asparagus, needs no introduction. Sweet potatoes, haven't had sweet potatoes in a while, but I mean, super versatile, just like a regular potato, but tastes a lot better. And I love potatoes in general, so. Sweet potatoes there. Bananas, I've been eating a banana since I started working out in the afternoons, need a little pick-me-up before I go to the gym. So I've been having a few apples or bananas um, or some sort of fresh fruit would work if you don't have either of those two things, but the pumps are unreal. I'm getting good energy from them. So this has been my go-to carb source pre-workout, either bananas or an apple. And then lemons for my lemon water. I have my lemon water every morning. And I go through about a lemon a day. And then, oh, last but not least, this little treat here. So whipped cream. Everybody's seen this before. When I was a kid, I would literally, if my mom brought whipped cream and she put it in the fridge, I would eat the whole thing in less than a day. And um, yeah, I have no regrets because it was really good. But when you're dieting, this can be a godsend because obviously when you're depleted, and you need some calories, you're gonna get some crazy intense cravings. And sometimes if you have a sweet tooth, this can really help satisfy it. So pretty much um, it's 20 calories for like a one second. And that's really kind of, it's a very intense sweetness if you've had it before. So that can at least hold you over if you get to a point where it's like, okay, I need to eat something sweet. This can keep you from eating like an ice cream cake or something like that. So. If you are dieting, get some whipped cream, but really pace yourself. I mean, this whole container has, I think like 600 calories in it, but I mean, that's like 35 to 40 seconds of, of squirting it. And just do like one or two seconds of squirt a day. Like when you really, really, really need something sweet, 
and it will be a crutch that will help get you through to the other side. All right, and then just because we came this far, we've got some waters. And one more thing, waters. Oi! So we've got 12 gallon of water there. And then last thing, last but not least, this is something that um, blew my mind the first time I had it and I had to get it again. I even went shop food shopping with a full stomach and I was like, you know what, I have to get this. And this is tiki marsala with yellow rice and oh my God, it smells so good. And turkey meatballs or chicken meatballs. I don't know if that's really good with the lighting there, but oh, it's incredible. That's gonna be my dinner tonight. I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, that was an impulse buy. They had it at the hot bar there and couldn't pass it up. In fact, as soon as I knew I was going shopping, I knew I was getting it, so. All right, that's all I got. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sticking along this far. If you want me to do a little review on these uh, foods, let me know, and I will. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye for now. All right, you got it.